Welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I uh, soldered on my Runcam thumb to my Tiny Hawk Race. And I'm just going to show you one of the mounting options. It's kind of weird to mount it on there. So I came up with a way that worked pretty good for me and I think it might work good for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. When I soldered mine on, I only took the canopy part way off and that worked good for me. But if you try that, be careful because you may accidentally melt the canopy with your soldering iron. Okay, on this demonstration, I'm actually using a flight controller from a Tiny Hawk 2 Whoop. It's the same flight controller in a Tiny Hawk 2 Whoop, Tiny Hawk 2 Race, Tiny Hawk 2 Freestyle. So what we do is we have a pin that has 5V on it for 5 volts and we have another pin that has G for ground. So we want to solder our black wire onto the one that says G and our red wire onto the one that says 5V. We want to make sure that we leave enough wire so you can have it come back around to the front of the drone. And if you fly with a high camera angle, you're definitely going to want to have that extra wire so you have some slack so you can adjust your camera angle to match the one on the drone. I mounted it by actually taking the TPU holder that came with the run cam thumb and I tied the two holes with some floss to the frame then used a liquid electrical tape to hold it all in place. I covered the floss knots with liquid electrical tape and then on the other side of the drone I put more liquid electrical tape to just hold it all in place tight. And that worked pretty good for me until I power looped into a tree and lost my SD card holder. I used some liquid electrical tape to hold the SD card in place because that was coming loose a lot. And then I replaced the holder with just regular electrical tape and more liquid electrical tape around the edges. My first attempt to at power loop this tree ended up crashing through the tree, knocked the SD cover off, lost the SD cover, and corrupted the file and lost the footage. This is the footage of the second attempt, which is kind of a fail, but I corkscrewed back into it. And then this is the footage of the first actual successful big power loop for me with this little race. And all this footage was taken, there's no filter on the camera, I don't use anything to stabilize the footage or anything, this is just the raw footage, and the audio is turned down a little bit because it's pretty loud. 